doop a doop a boop 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 Hello, I am Tyler Steubenhofer. I'm a second year high school math teacher, and I've been using my Interact Pad for over a year now. And I'm sneaking away. Several things we need to do. First, an equipment check. Later on, we will make sure we have a suitable environment. We getting we are getting our things ready correctly. We'll record our screencast, and then we will display it to the world. First, we need to do an equipment check. To make this screencast, we will need a computer and an right pad. And those two will actually need to talk via Bluetooth. If they're not connected, this ain't happening. We also need our Interact software and a microphone. I am using a USB microphone right now. It's pretty sharp and it sounds great. Even if you don't have one, uh, some computers have a built-in mic that's not half bad. You can hear really well using that. Next, a suitable environment. A suitable environment needs to be comfortable. It's best if it's silent because that way you don't get a lot of background noise. And also you need adequate lighting so you can see what the heck you're doing. We need to get things ready now by turning them on. Several things need to be turned on. First, the computer. Let me just sneak over here and turn that bad boy on. There we go. Also, our interact pad needs to be on. There's a little switch on the top left. It's real easy to find. You just flick that on. Microphone needs to be on if necessary. If it's like I said, if it's uh, a built-in mic on your laptop, no worries. It's good to go. Otherwise, plug in your microphone. And the interact software needs to be kicked on. Um, remember, though, our interact pad is useless to us unless it's talking to our computer. Uh, through Bluetooth, so make sure those are connected. Usually, uh, your computer and the Interact Pad will take care of that for you. You don't even have to worry about it. So that's pretty cool. I want to talk for a minute about how to open up the Interact software. So I'll just I will uh, show you. If you have the Interact software installed, you should see this little icon down here on the bottom right, this purple uh, and black with the eye. Okay, you can just left click on that and it'll pop this little menu uh, up for you. You want to select interactive mode. There's also office mode. I won't even get into that. Uh, it's It it can uh, communicate with Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, some of those things. It's really cool. We're just going to uh, touch on the interactive mode here today. So we'll let that load up and it's already there. On the right side here, you can see this big menu of tons of tools. Um, right here is a marker. I'll talk more about that here in a little bit. The one I really want to open now is to come down to this toolbox with the hammer, the screwdriver. Open up your tools and go up here to record and playback. So now we've opened up the Interite workspace software and we have our recorder software open. And we'll get more... Uh, more information on this in just a second. Alright, now that we have those open, we are ready to record our screencast. Hopefully you're really familiar with the tools over here. Um, I'm not going to get too in-depth on those. I'll select my marker. Several of the things we're going to do, um, I'm going to just show you how you hit record. Uh, we're actually going to do our screencast. We're actually going to do it. Then we're just going to hit stop and the last step uh, of this part is to save it so kind of four things here I'll be showing you right now um, something to keep in mind I'll, I'll go over here and select a new piece of paper something to keep in mind before you even hit record is that uh, when you are recording you need to speak and write I guess but you really need to make sure you speak clearly and it is okay to be a little enthusiastic. Even if it causes you to write funny, that's still readable. All right. What you don't want, um, I think almost everybody's seen the movie, you know, Bueller, Bueller. You don't want the Ben Stein voice. Okay. 
hopefully I, uh, I'm being enthusiastic myself. That'd be bad if I wasn't taking my own advice. All right, anyways, let us get to, let's say I just wanted to do a real quick math video, okay? So I come up here, I will hit this button, record. I can either choose part of the screen or the full screen. Um, let's just say I didn't want all the riffraff around the edges, so I just wanted part of the screen. I would select a little rectangle here. You can't see it yet, but it's there. I'll select that rectangle, and this is where I'm recording. Hopefully, I won't go outside the edges. Um, we will have something like, I don't know, let's say we have a problem like this. X plus 3 times the quantity X plus 1, and uh, the teacher wanted you to do the FOIL method or something. Okay. Well, you could talk about your distributing. You have x times x is x squared. Uh, x times 1 is x. We have 3 times x. And we have 3 times 1. Okay. We know, since we're all math geniuses, that we can combine like terms. And our final answer will be x squared plus 4x plus 3. Just a real simple demonstration of how you could show... Uh, how you could show through video how to do something um, and this opens up a whole new world of interacting with uh, students and other people in terms of in terms of math okay so anyways here's our recording box I've been going for over a minute on this problem here you'll want to hit stop okay and we could just save our file wherever we want I'm going to go ahead and go back to my My Documents. And something good to keep in mind when you're saving a file, you don't want to just, you know, call it video. Uh, let's call it something uh, that tells us the date. We'll just say, we'll go with today's date, uh, November 15th. And I'll just say FOIL method. Okay, so I have the date and whatever topic I covered. And I'll just save that. And that's it for that part. That was fun. We did it. We've recorded it. We've saved it. And now we have a little file just like this. And it is a .avi extension. That's really handy because that'll open a Windows Media Player. That'll open an Apple QuickTime. And also we could upload it to YouTube. And if we're going to upload it to YouTube, you just need to pull up your internet browser. Go to youtube.com. Um, over here you can see you can create an account or you can just sign in. I'm going to go ahead and sign in since I already have one. If not, you just create one, uh, give them an email and verify that you have that email. Um, and there, I just signed in. Once you are signed in, you just hit this upload button on the top right click upload video and then you just go select uh, your video from wherever it is mine was right here the foil method I can change the file name you can give the description and you can give it some tags like math um, we could say foil method and separating them with commas if you notice I'm putting commas in there category I uh, will say education of course share it with the world and let's see if it's uploaded oh wow it was a small enough file it uh, I think it's already been uploaded to the internet save changes I'm gonna click go to my videos and there it is already wow um, it mentions up here that the quality might not be a hundred percent but uh, let's see if we can hear it I don't know, let's say we have a problem like this. X plus 3 times the quantity X plus 1. And yeah, the, the audio is still pretty fuzzy. Um, you can see the graphics aren't great yet, but those will those will get better like they said once the process is complete. But anyways, that took us about a minute and a half. Um, might take you a little longer if you need to create an account. But somebody could come in here, watch your video anywhere in the world where there's internet. They can drop a comment down there. 
um, pretty cool. Over here you can see links to, there's a ton of other math videos on YouTube, but always looking for more entertaining ones, so go ahead and throw some out there. Um, so yeah, it's on YouTube, and, uh, and copy paste that URL because we could email the link to our friends. Uh, you could email it to your students. You could email it to your grandparents. Some of the older people in the crowd might want to just stick to the grandkids, though. So, and that's fine. See ya.